These strange mysteries are yet to be explained. As there are so many more mysteries out there, we might make a part two to this if it does well. Number five, Toxic Lady. This woman goes by the name of Gloria Ramirez. Her case is a really bizarre one. She was suffering from cervical cancer and went to the emergency room at 8.15pm on February 19th, 1994. Paramedics said that she was extremely confused and had an extremely elevated heart rate and also began to start breathing rapidly and would then completely stop breathing altogether. The medical staff then sedated her and began to treat her for the symptoms. She was responding poorly to all this treatment and was on the verge of death. Paramedics then decided to use a defibrillator on her to try to revive her. At this point, the doctors say that an oily substance began to excrete out of Gloria's body and covered her entirely. The staff said it had a fruity garlic-like smell. A nurse by the name of Susan Kane drawed some blood from Gloria's arm. She said that the blood began to start emitting a smell like ammonia. She then passed a syringe to a nurse called Julie Gorchinsky. She inspected the blood and noticed sand-colored particles floating within it. At this point, Susan fainted and was removed from the room. Shortly after, Julie began to feel nauseated and complained she was lightheaded. She then left the room and also fainted. Third to pass out was a therapist who was assisting the doctors. After this, the hospital staff ordered to evacuate all emergency room patients to the parking lot. Overall, 23 people became ill and 5 people were hospitalized. Some doctors managed to continue taking care of Gloria, but she was pronounced dead at 8.50pm. The cause of death was kidney failure related to her cancer. Two scientists were assigned to figure out what was causing the illness. Firstly, it was believed that it may have been a case of mass hysteria, but the scientists had done some further investigation and has still not figured out what caused it. There have been several theories to what have caused it. One of them are from the nurse, Julie. She denies that she had been affected by mass hysteria. After the exposure, she spent two weeks in the intensive care unit with breathing problems. She also developed hepatitis. She done some research and came up with a theory that a solvent by the name of dimethyl siloxide played a role in the incident. It's a powerful degreaser, which is also a home remedy for pain. Julie believes that Gloria used this before she came to the emergency room. The solvent has been described to put out a garlic-like smell, which would describe the smell in the room. It would also explain the greasy substance on Gloria's body. She also believes that the substance would have been trapped in Gloria's body due to a urinary blockage caused by kidney failure. And due to this, when they used the defibrillator, the electric charge caused the substance to be changed chemically, causing a poisonous gas to be emitted, and this is what caused everyone to feel ill. There have been other theories. One included a secret meth lab leak within the hospital. The other is a poisonous gas being produced by mixing bleach in a sink that was in the room. Although there are all these theories, it is still a mystery to what caused everyone to fall ill. Another strange thing about the case is that two months after Gloria died, her body was released for independent autopsy. Her body was badly decomposed and her heart had disappeared, and also her organs were covered in feces. Number 4. Wow Signal The wow signal was a strong narrowband radio signal detected on August 15th, 1977 by Jerry Eman. He heard it while he was working on a search for extraterrestrial intelligence project. The signal came from outer space in the constellation Sagittarius near the Chai Sagittarius star group. It lasted for 72 seconds and has since not been detected again. Astronomers have been trying to find the signal again ever since it was heard, but they have had no luck. The signal got a high amount of media attention as they could not determine what caused the signal, so many considered it to be aliens. There have been theories of what caused the signal, they vary from space debris to atmospheric twinkling, but the WOW signal remains to be the strongest candidate ever detected for alien radio transmission. This is what the signal sounds like.
Number 3 Disappearance of Frederick Valentich Frederick Valentich was a 20-year-old Australian pilot. On October 21, 1978, he was on a training flight in a Cessna 182 aircraft flying over the Bass Strait in Australia. At 7.06pm, he radioed to Melbourne Air Traffic Control that he was being accompanied by an aircraft about a thousand feet above him. He then said that his engine started to randomly stop working, then would start working again. He said that the aircraft was following him. He noticed it was illuminated by four bright landing lights. He was unable to confirm what type of aircraft it was. He said that it had a shiny metal surface and had green lights on it. His final words were, it isn't an aircraft. After this, the transmission was interrupted by an unidentified noise. It was described as a metallic scraping sound. Then, all contact was lost. A sea and air search went underway. They searched for four days, but the pilot's body and plane was never found. There have been proposed explanations. Some believe that Frederick may have faked his own death. People back this as Melbourne police received reports of an aircraft making a mysterious landing near to where he disappeared. Another explanation that seems far-fetched is that he was flying upside down and what he believed was a UFO was actually his own plane reflected in the water. He then became confused and crashed. One more proposed explanation was that he committed suicide. UFOologists have speculated that extraterrestrials either destroyed his plane or abducted him. Number 2. Mysterious Sounds of the Bottom of the Ocean These sounds have been recorded by scientists during research of the Pacific Ocean. There are six sounds in total and two still remain to be unidentified. The other four have been theorized by scientists to be caused by icebergs sinking. But many scientists disagree with this and argue this isn't the true cause of the sound, so the sound might still be a mystery. Theorists has put the sound down to a large sea monster, underground UFO bases, and UFOs trapped at the bottom of the ocean. The sounds that were recorded were louder than the blue whale, which makes the loudest sound in the ocean. The six sounds are called upsweep, whistle, bloop, Julia, slow down, and train. The two that are still unidentified are upsweep and whistle. The only sound that the scientists are sure they have figured out is the bloop. They have put it down to ice quakes caused by icebergs. This is what they sound like. Number 1. Kelly Hopkinsville Encounter This creepy case is also known as the Hopkinsville Goblin Case and the Kelly Green Men Case. It was a series of incidents of alleged close encounters with supposed extraterrestrials. They were reported in 1955. It happened on a rural farmhouse in a small city of Hopkinsville, Kentucky in the United States. Members of two families at the farmhouse reported seeing unidentifiable creatures. Other witnesses reported seeing lights in the sky and odd sounds. On August 21st, 1955, a man by the name of Billy Taylor took his family to visit the Sutton family at their farmhouse in Hopkinsville. There were a total of 11 people in the house. The house had no running water, so Billy went outside to the water pump to drink. He claims he saw strange lights in the sky to the west, which he believes was an unusual craft. He ran into the house to tell everyone about the sighting. They didn't believe him and told him he most likely saw a shooting star. About an hour after this, the families began to hear strange noises coming from outside. The family dog then began to bark really loudly. 
Billy and Elma, who was a member of the Sutton family, went outside armed with a shotgun and a rifle. They then said they saw a strange creature emerge from nearby trees. Once the creature got closer, they began to shoot at it. They said it fled back into the trees. The men returned to the house and told the family. Another member of the family said that they saw a similar creature approach the other side of the house. For hours after this, the family claims they were terrorized by these things. They said they were similar to gremlins and were about three feet tall with upright pointed ears, thin limbs, and long arms with claws. They said the creatures either had a metallic colored skin or were wearing something made of metal. They claimed the creatures movement defied gravity. They said the creatures never entered the house, but they would hear them scurry across the roof. They also would suddenly appear at the windows. The strange thing about this case is that it has not been deemed as a hoax. Some strange evidence surrounds it. During the attack, a police officer was on patrol and was driving past the farmhouse. He said that he could see meteor-like objects flying overhead, with a sound like artillery fire coming directly from them. Also during the attack, the family managed to escape the house. They drove down to the police station. Officers said they were frightened and genuinely seemed terrified. An officer with medical training claims that Billy's heart rate was two times faster than usual. Twenty police officers accompanied the Suttons back to the farmhouse. Several entered it to assess the damage. They also assessed each family member and he said they was not under the influence of drugs or alcohol. The house was damaged and also the neighbors reported seeing bright lights in the sky and also said they heard the gun battle at the farmhouse. The police also saw a bright green light coming from within the trees near the house, but the source couldn't be determined. Possible non-alien explanations have been put down to monkeys painted with silver that escaped from a circus. Others has put the entire event down to owls. To this day, the event still hasn't been deemed as a hoax, and it's believed it was investigated by the US Air Force. UFOologists claim it is one of the most significant and well-documented cases in the history of a UFO incident. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to keep updated with our videos. Goodbye.